Hi, and a huge welcome. Can you make great lasagna in a mug? Well, I think you can. We've been traveling the last eight months, as you know, and you get pretty creative when you're on the road. So can we make really good lasagna in this mug? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get on and try. Now I'm gonna use the Barilla small lasagna. This is not fresh. You could use fresh, but it actually works with the dry. I've got some kettle water, hot water. Just pour it over there and let that soak a moment whilst we get on and make this super fast lasagna. All we're gonna need is a little pasta sauce, some mozzarella. I went for feta to add some little saltiness to it. Baby spinach, a little red capsicum, your mug, and some basil. Now let's get on. Now I'm just using a regular little pasta sauce. I'm gonna put a couple of spoonfuls in the bottom of the mug. Just set that aside a moment. Now I've got a little mozzarella here. It's about 40 grams, maybe a third of a cup. And I'm just going to slice it up into little cubes. We don't really need it. Uh, you can grate it, but really little cubes will be just fine. I want about 40 grams of feta, so I'm just gonna slice a piece off of there. The feta really adds great flavor to this. Now let's take these baby spinach leaves. I'm just going to wrap them around the feta. I know that looks a little bit clumsy, but it does work. And we are just going to slice up the feta within the spinach itself. Now you can see that's a big handful of spinach. Again, it's about 40 grams. Now we'll just set that feta and spinach aside. We're just gonna take a little fresh basil, maybe a, a few sprigs like that. And let's just chop up that basil nice and fine as well. And pop that over there with your spinach. Now I'm just gonna take a little capsicum, a little red pepper, and just slice this up nice and thin. And then we're going to just dice it up into small cubes. Now in the few moments that we took to prep that, the pasta sheet will be nice and al dente. So I'm just gonna pop this to the side, and I'm just going to lift that sheet out of there, bring it over to my board, and we're just gonna lay that down. Now I want to divide this up into three pieces. Got my cup with my sauce in. Let's take the first piece and just pop it in the bottom. And you can see it's got the sauce underneath. And I've got my basil, spinach, and pepper. I'm just gonna take half of that and just lift it and drop it into my cup. Already we're packing flavor in there. We just want to take about a third of the mozzarella now and just sprinkle that over the top. We're going to want another couple of spoons of our sauce. That beautiful tomato sauce. Now this one actually has onions and garlic in it. Let's just lift another one of these sheets of pasta and just lay it on top. Now the rest of our mix here, I'm just going to get my hands in there and just lift it and drop it in. Getting near the top now, let's take about a third of the mozzarella and just pop it on the top. Give that a little push down. Our last layer of red sauce. Now I'm probably gonna put a little less. I don't want too much red sauce in there and our last layer of pasta. And I'm just gonna push that down gently. Now I know it looks pretty full, but we're just gonna pop the last of the mozzarella on top of there. And the beauty is one minute and 30 seconds from now, this lasagna is ready to eat. Oh, that smells so delicious. One minute 30, a bit of prep time. Come and take a look at this beautiful lasagna. And if I just get my fork in there, Pull that up. Oh, isn't that absolutely delicious? It's stringy. <laughs> We've got perfectly cooked pasta. Let me give this a try. Mm. Oh, I know that's not as good as Mama makes, but that's pretty good for lasagna in a cup. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this lasagna in a mug. And if you have, share the love. Give this one the thumbs up. And look out, because we might do a little series of these super quick meals in a mug coming up shortly on Steve's Kitchen. Be good. I'll see you soon. Now, I reckon you'll impress some friends and family if you give this one a go. And if you do, take some photos and share them across to me on any social media you like. Be good. I'll leave some links to some other videos. Subscribe to the channel. See you soon.